Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're doing a Let's Play and initial impressions review for the Veriditas Chapel of Perpetual Adoration VR. A game, well, it's not really a game, I guess it's an app experience that was released on the Steam Store yesterday, March 13th, 2023. It normally retails for $5. I bought it at that price. And uh, there are some instructions before you begin. Uh, it says stand when defining the play area. Reset the VR view and stand in the circle on the floor. When facing the altar, bow your head to move closer. When in front of the altar, kneel. When kneeling, look up and down to progress. And you notice how you look up and down also to, to move closer. So you know, bowing pretty much almost the same as looking up and down. And then turn around and nod to quit. All right, so we're going to try to do that. Um, let's reset our, our play space right here. All right, here we go. So we're nodding. I mean, we're bowing, sorry. And as you can see, we are getting closer. Now I'm gonna be, I'm not religious, but I'm gonna try to be as respectful as possible towards this experience for those who might be interested. Obviously this is a religious experience, so it's not for everyone. Uh, I would also say those who are into PC VR might be interested in this, even if you're not religious like me. So let's bow our heads one more time. Okay, so now we're at the altar and it says, please kneel. Okay, all right, well, we're, we're gonna kneel. It says, oh, okay, the the frame rates took a dip when we kneeled. Oh, greenest branch whose breast inspires the wonder of saints hail. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, I think the visuals are cool, but the one thing that's bringing down this experience is the very poor performance. I feel a lot of stutters uh, <laughs> as I'm playing this. And I'm I'm looking at my frame rates. They're they're uh, variable frame rates. They're going anywhere from 45 to 60, and it's all over the place. And it's making this a very um, when you bloom in your branches, the heart of the sun flows from you like ointment. I mean, the visuals are cool. I just wish it was optimized better. And I wish I had like a mat so when I kneel it doesn't, it's not as hard on my knees. In you a beautiful flower blossomed whose fragrance awakened all that was withered. Withered, I'm sorry. And, oh, oh I'm sorry, what? I am kneeling. Yes, heavenly rains delighted the earth. Grain was born and birds nested. Um... And a feast was prepared to the joy of all. Again, uh, I like the visuals, but the frame rates are... <laughs> I mean, if you're a VR veteran, you can handle it like me. But if you're not a VR veteran, this is going to make you sick. A joy ever present in you, O sweet virgin, and despised by Eve. Okay, uh, I guess I'm familiar with, with that teaching. I didn't know that Eve had a problem with the angels. Praise the Most High. That is cool. <laughs> that is cool. As far as mixing uh, the mix of religion and VR, I, I've really, I mean, we've seen it as far as, you know, going to churches in VR. You can see the 3D model churches, you know, some photogrammetry. But this is the first one that really tries to emulate a religious experience in VR. I don't think I've ever experienced something quite like this in VR. I would say this is something uh, novel in VR, uh, something interesting. I, I really like how they mix uh, religion with, with, uh, with VR here, uh, you know, giving you a spiritual experience in VR. Outside of just seeing a 3D model church, this is this is uh, 
emulating something a uh, uh, spiritual religious experience in in VR through the magic of VR uh, the, and this is really the only way you could experience something like this is in VR so kudos to the devs for for doing something that like that that's a big risk uh, uh um and you know this might be the the future of, of religion in in VR uh but my main complaint would be the performance it's really bad i'm an rtx 3080 and i'm just getting variable frame rates and i don't know if it's over or or if there's something more i don't see anything else um are, are we supposed to get up now I'm going to I'm going to assume that the experience is over but I'm not 100% sure. Um it it, w it was pretty cool though. Um if this is all the all there is to the experience though it is it is pretty short. Uh but my biggest complaint is not how long it is cuz I didn't figure this would be a long experience. It's obviously a premium experience at $5 for for this type of experience but uh it's optimization. <laughs> That's really what brought the experience down for me. Um, if they can fix that though, they, they have something very unique and novel in, in VR. Um, I wish you could see your avatar hands. I think that's something that might make this even more immersive. Uh, you don't see your motion controllers. Um, but I like the visuals. <laughs> this is a unique experience in VR. I did enjoy it, but just the optimization needs to be a whole lot better. Uh, for those who are religious, you might enjoy this experience a lot more th than I did. Uh, but I still think, even being a non-religious person, I thought this was a very unique experience. Um, never really quite experienced something like this in, in VR. Uh, I, I wish, though, there was a, more a heads up that, you know, th is this the end or is there more? Do you, you have to pray harder, kneel harder? I, I'm going to assume this is the end. So I'm going to get up now. <laughs> uh I've been on my knees for, for quite a while. <laughs> my knees are starting to hurt. Ouch. Okay. And I guess we just turn around now. And we nod to quit. So, uh, again, this has been my Let's Play initial impressions for Verid Veriditas Chapel of Perpetual Adoration VR. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always... Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.